Grade 3 Math, number 96, Liquid Volume Word Problems. We talked about liquid volume in the last video. And I explained that one cup is equal to eight fluid ounces, and that two cups is equal to one pint. So because these are each eight ounces, that means the pint is 16 fluid ounces. Two pints is equal to one quart, because two of these equals the quart, then two sixteens equal the quart. Sixteen plus sixteen is thirty-two. There's four quarts in a big gallon. Four times the thirty-two fluid ounces is a hundred and twenty-eight fluid ounces in one big gallon. So now we're going to do some word problems using these and this chart to help us answer it, okay? So the first one we've got is Emma needs to fill her five-gallon fish tank with water, okay? So she's got this big five-gallon fish tank, okay? And she needs to fill it with water. If she has a bucket that holds two quarts, how many trips to the sink will it take her to fill that five-gallon tank? All right, so it's important to know that her tank is five gallons, and that her bucket is two quarts. So the first thing we need to figure out is how many quarts are in a gallon? There's four. Four quarts are in a gallon. But she only has a bucket that holds two quarts. That means she has a bucket that holds half of a gallon. Okay? So her bucket is equal to a half of a gallon. It's two quarts. If the fish tank is five gallons, how many times is it going to take her to go to the sink? So it's a half gallon each time. Well, that means two times that she goes to the sink would be one gallon, a half gallon and a half gallon, and that would be one gallon. Okay, so every two times that she goes to the sink is one gallon. All right, so let's say she goes to the sink two times. All right, then she goes two more times. Then she goes two more times. Okay, so now that's three gallons. Now remember, the fish tank is five gallons. Can you work ahead of me and see where we're going? Oh, we don't need an S on there, do we? One, two, three, four, five gallons. How many times did she go to the sink? Two, four, six, eight, ten. She went to the sink ten trips to fill her fish tank. So do you see how I used the drawing and this to count to answer the question? So if you can do little things like this to help you answer a word problem, that's okay. If you've got scratch paper and you need to draw it out like this to answer it, that's perfectly fine as long as you got the answer. Now another way to have done it would be to know that she needed to get five gallons, each bucket was a half gallon, and you needed to multiply a half times something to get the five gallons. Ten halves is five. All right, let's look at this one. Lisa made two gallons of lemonade for her party. How many cups of lemonade will she be able to serve to her guests? Well, she made a total of two gallons. Okay? She made two gallons, so that's important. And if she's going to serve it into cups to her guests, eight fluid ounce cups, how many cups of lemonade is she going to be able to serve? So guess what we have to do? We have to figure out how many cups are in two gallons. 
All right, well, how many cups are in one gallon? Let's take a look. There's two cups in a pint, so this is equal to two cups. All right, that one pint is two cups. That's two cups, and that's two cups. So these two together are four cups, right? And that equals one quart. So every quart is equal to four cups. That's four cups, that's four cups, that's four cups, and that's four cups. Four times four is 16. That means there's 16 cups in each gallon. All right? So this one has two. So that means there's two cups here and two cups here. That's four cups. That means this quart is four cups. That's four cups. That's four cups. That's four cups. And that's four cups. And four times four is 16 because there's four quarts in a gallon. So that means there's 16 cups in a gallon. Well, Lisa made two gallons of lemonade. So how many cups did she make? 16 times 2. What is 16 times 2? You could do 16 plus 16. 6 and 6 is 12. 1, 2, 3. She can serve 32 cups of lemonade to her party guests. See how we did that? Okay, now let's figure out this last one. If a dog needs two cups of water each day, how many days will a gallon of water last? So let's say the water that's coming out of your faucet is bad water, okay? But you need to give your dog water and he drinks two cups of water a day, so you have to go to the store to buy a jug of water and you buy a gallon of water from the store for your dog and he drinks two cups a day, so that's important. Two cups of water each day, okay? How many days will the gallon of water last? All right, so again, we have to figure out how many cups are in a gallon, okay? So, we knew that there's two cups in a pint, all right, so that's two cups. We know that if that's two cups and that's two cups and it equals a quart, then a quart must be four cups. And these are each four cups. So there's 16 cups in a gallon. All right. So if there's 16 cups if 16 cups equals one gallon and the dog drinks two cups a day How would we split that up? 16 divided by 2. Because he drinks 2 cups a day, so we got to split the 16 into 2s, into 2 cups. Okay? How many 2s are in 16, or what is half of 16? 16 divided by 2 is 8 because 8 times 2 is 16. So that means for 8 days, you would have enough water to give your dog. If he drinks 2 cups a day and you've got a gallon, it'll last 8 days. Do you see how we figured that out? We figured out how many cups are in a gallon, and we figured he's going to drink 2 cups a day. So that's one day, that's another day, that's another day, that's another day. Each day he's drinking two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days that he drank two cups of water. So you've got enough water for eight days. So it's important to know how each of these relate to each other. How many cups are in a pint? How many pints are in a quart? How many quarts are in a gallon? And then that'll help you answer the word problems. Most uh, math books, school math books, have a chart in the back that tells you cups and pints and quarts and gallons. I'll see you next video. We're going to talk about mass.